Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I hope that there is not static in the line this morning. We pray to that end. Phone uh, is giving some problem, uh, but we trust in the Lord. Our theme, of course, for this week has been Bible characters and lessons. And we are talking in the framework of Cain, Abel, the flood, and the tower of Babel. And our subject for today is the world united against God. The world, maybe I should say the whole world, united against God. You know, uh, there are only three places in the Bible where we find the whole of mankind in organized unity rebelling against God. Three places. The first one is, of course, Adam and Eve. That was humanity. Uh, no other existed except for those two, the original pair. And they, of course, united against God in rebellion against God. The second is the Tower of Babel. Everybody upon the face of the earth in a united way, in an organized way, rebelled against, took a stand against, worked against, work in opposition to, work in distrust of God. They were going to make their own way. They laid their own plans. They were going to be saved by their own works. That was the Tower of Babel. And then the last is found in the book of Revelation. And, of course, it is the Battle of Armageddon, where mankind uh, unites not only to save himself, but to kill the people of God and even God himself, the great day of the Lord. People depended on their own plans, their own works. Uh, they were depending on their own might and strength. They, they, they united as one in distrust of God and trusting in themselves. And so we're going to talk about uh, a united work. Uh, this was uh, done at the Tower of Babel. We want to look to see what it means and how it applies to us today and how it will find its fullest fulfillment in the Battle of Armageddon. You, you see, let me say this. Uh, the, 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 the Tower of Babel was the fruit of of Adam and Eve's rebellion. And Armageddon is the tower of Babel matured. <laughs> yeah, you go to the playback and listen to that. You'll, you'll, you'll understand it better by and by. Armageddon is the tower of Babel. The spirit that was manifested at the tower of Babel, it is that spirit and those works matured. The Tower of Babel represented the whole world unitedly working and warring against God. Uh, the Tower of Babel is the whole world united. Well, let me say unitedly. Let me, that's a better way of saying it. Mm -hmm. Unitedly seeking to control and take their destiny into their own hands. Mm -hmm. The Tower of Babel is the whole world unitedly seeking to save their selves, themselves, by their own imagination and by their own works. And ultimately, the spirit that ruled mankind at the Tower of Babel will control mankind to the point where the whole world, united, will see to kill all of the people of God and even God himself. That's an amazing thing. Uh, sin makes 
created beings be insane. You remember mm. Lucifer? Mm. He decided he was going to take over God's throne. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. He didn't want to be equal with God. He wanted to be God. He wanted to be in God's place. He wanted to kill God. That's why he started a war in heaven. And when he got an opportunity, when Jesus came to earth, he sought to kill Jesus and he killed him. Mm. He killed him. That was always his plan. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning, the Bible says. And the Tower of Babel shows us that that, 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 that same spirit is in mankind in the battle of Armageddon proves that that spirit is fully matured in every human being who is lost. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's just pray right now. Our Father and our God, which art in heaven, mm -hmm. teach us this morning. Your word has left no stone unturned. Yeah. <clears throat> help us to understand and help us, Lord, to, to learn from these things so we fall in no pit no trap of the devil no deception of the devil mm -hmm. as the world unites against god under the kingdom and rulership of satan help us to not be of this world help us to unitedly grow and mature and be perfected as the kingdom of god as the body of god help us lord this we ask in jesus name Amen. Amen. All right, saints. Uh, let's look at the Bible now. Mm -hmm. The world united mm -hmm. against God. We're going to look to see what what really happened at the Tower of Babel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let, let's look at Genesis 11. 1. It, it's it's going to set the stage here. What does it say? And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Uh, uh, some key phrases here, some key words help us understand this, this whole setting. One language, one speech, they journeyed, they dwelt. And so here's what we have. We, we have um, a people who are one. Everybody on the face of the earth. And I'm talking about it was a large number of them. They were able to find a plane that perhaps was miles and miles and miles and miles long and wide. And they said, okay, let's, let's dwell here. Everybody's one. They're one people. Not, 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 they have their individual families, but they're all united. All right? One language. That means they could understand each other clearly when they communicated to one with another. The Bible says they journeyed. If they were going to go from place to place, they all went. At that point in time, it wasn't a group of folk way over here. <laughs> then you you go way over to this way. After the flood, they decided we're going to stay together. <laughs> you know, this is a horrific thing that has happened. And we're going to all stay together. Something else happened, we're going to be able to help each other. Mm. Uh, let's try to lay some plans where we can avoid being destroyed again. Uh, mm. They were of one language, of one speech, and they journeyed. And when they decided <clears throat> to dwell somewhere, the Bible says they dwelt. They were one. They mm. were one. All right. Let's look at what happened further. Genesis chapter 11 and Verses 3 and 4, what does the Bible say? And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Bible says, and they said to one another, let us make. Sounds like Genesis, <laughs> where mm -hmm. God said, let us make man mm -hmm. in our image. And after our likeness, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the text here says in verse 4, they said, let us build. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now, they're not trying to build in God's image. They're trying to build in their own image. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to highlight that. Yeah. Let us build a city and a tower mm -hmm. whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a us name. a name. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not highlighting God. Yeah. Here it is after the flood. Mm. 
God had destroyed mankind almost absolutely and completely. Now, in just a short time, they're beginning to head back to the same reality. They're rejecting God. Let us make. Mm -hmm. Not let us depend on God. You know, mm -hmm. God had promised, you read the Bible carefully, Genesis 10 and 11, 9, 10 and 11. The, the, God had promised, I'm not going to send another flood. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put the rainbow, that's where the rainbow originated. I'm going to put the rainbow in the sky. So when you look mm -hmm. up and see it, you can be assured that there's not going to be another flood to yeah. destroy mankind. They, did, they didn't take that. <coughs> They didn't trust in that word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they, 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 they wanted to trust in their own works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they didn't want to believe God. They didn't believe God. So therefore their conclusion was, let us mm -hmm. do something. Mm -hmm. Let us build a city. And that's not the New Jerusalem is talking about. And, 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 and the, the, we're going to make a tower whose top will reach into heaven. Now, don't fool yourself. They did not think that they could reach all the way to where God was. Mm -hmm. I've heard that preached since I was a little boy. They didn't think that. They, they, they were not fools in those days. Mm -hmm. They could look up in the sky and see all of the stars and all of the various <coughs> solar systems. They, they did not think that they could build up all way up past that and go on up to where God was. But they wanted to reach so high in the sky mm -hmm. into the heavens. You know, the atmosphere that surrounds the earth is called the heavens. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they wanted to build something so high that I don't care how much water you sent, we can go up in this tower. <laughs> That's right. We can go up in this tower and we can be safe. Mm -hmm. And so let us make a name for ourselves, mm -hmm. they had the sacrificial system that Adam left. They, they knew that they were looking for a promised savior and uh, they were to be a, 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 the people of God, believing in the, the, the coming savior. All, all that's left out of this equation that we're talking about here. They were going to depend on themselves. We want to make a name for ourselves. and We're going to go about to have our own insurance and assurance against the flood. No need to trust what God says. <laughs> oh, we do that. We do that every day with the way we use our money. Mm. Yeah. Don't trust God at all. Trust money. Churches, conferences, don't trust God. Trust money. They're not even going to try anything unless they got Money in hand. They'll tell you don't try it. They'll tell you, don't, why are you doing that? You don't have enough money. Well, that's why you need money. You, 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 you shouldn't be trying it. Work by money, not by faith. <laughs> that's right. Trust in the money, not in God. At any rate, they're headed in the wrong direction. They, they, they believe plan. They have purpose. They're all one. And everybody together has decided this. And the Bible says in Genesis 11, 5 and 6, that, what, what, what does it say God did? And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. God said nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. That's proof that they were not seeking to build the tower straight on up, right on into heaven where God is. Because God knows that that's not possible for them to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's not like they could have actually done that. I've heard people actually sit in church and say that, man. It's ridiculous. They could not have done that. What are they going to do when they get to the point where there's no gravity? At any rate, they could not have done that. But whatever they purpose to do, they could do. The people are one people. And... In addition to that, they are one language. Mm -hmm. And this they have imagined to do, which is against God. They're going to trust in themselves. They're going to trust in their own ability. They're going to trust in their own works. Mm -hmm. Some of us trust in how good we are in order to make it into heaven. Mercy. Some of us trust in the fact that we are of a certain denomination. Therefore, we're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. 
some of us trust that because I go to church and I'm an elder or I'm a this leader or I'm a that leader, I'm going to make it into heaven mm -hmm. trusting in their own works. Mm -hmm. That's what these folk were doing. Mm -hmm. God came down and viewed it out and he gave the analysis. Uh, the people are one. They're one language. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to be, be restrained from them which they have imagined to do against me. <laughs> and so now God uh, makes a move. Mm -hmm. What does Genesis chapter 11 and verses 7 and through 9 say? Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand an, one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord <coughs> scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. And the Lord said, let us <laughs> go down. You remember the children of Israel? Mm -hmm. Not the children of Israel, but the, the people who dwelt on the face of the earth. All of them said, let us mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. a tower. Now, let us build it unto heaven, okay? Let us do this. Mm -hmm. And the God of heaven, the one God who is more than one person speaking among himself said, let us go down. Mm -hmm. yeah, they want to move. We need to make a move. And this is for their good, by the way. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do in order to break up this progression of sin, to help stop it from becoming just like it was in the days of Noah. I need to slow it down. Mm. I need to confound their language. I, I, I need them to not be able to so easily unite, <clears throat> the whole world unite in doing evil against me. And what the people had said, uh, we're going to build us a, a tower and make us a name, lest we be scattered over the earth. They had determined they're not going to be scattered over the earth. Mm -hmm. Well, God Fix that. <laughs> he said, let us go down so that they might be scattered abroad. <laughs> they, they cannot overrule me. Oh, yeah. They purpose in their heart that they were going to do that, folk. We got to see that this Tower of Babel was rebellion against mm. God, and against trusting in God, and trusting in human works. Mm. We're so easy to do that. Mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> and God said, let us, just like in creation, i got to make another move, a big move. Yeah. Let us let go us down. Go down. And do something. We're going to confound mm -hmm. their language. And we're going to scatter them. <laughs> and it's for their blessing. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, therefore, the name was called Babel. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord did there confound the language of all oh, of the Lord. earth. And then the Bible says, the Lord scattered them abroad. The very thing they said they didn't want to happen. <laughs> the Lord scattered them abroad upon the face of all of the earth. To some degree, the people of God are like that in the earth today. Mm -hmm. We might think they gathered together all in one place, but mm -hmm. there's a few here and a few over here. Mm -hmm. One here and another one over there. Mm -hmm. Few here, a few over there. That's just how it is. <clears throat> and... Inasmuch as they're scattered, they are doing the work of God everywhere they are. Mm. All right. So the Lord made a move. Uh, I want to highlight something. Genesis 6, 12 says this. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. This mm. was before the flood. All flesh, not most, <clears throat> Not the overwhelming majority, but all flesh, it's all inclusive, had corrupted his way upon the earth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> God set things in motion so that wouldn't happen so quickly again. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to happen again, uh, the battle of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but he slowed it down. Mm -hmm. It would now take uh, thousands of years for evil to mature. Because he confounded their language. They could not so easily become one people. They couldn't understand each other. They couldn't be of one mind. They, they weren't able to understand each other. They had to separate with folk who speak 
the language that they understood. And so God blessed them by scattering them. Mm -hmm. He slowed down the work of Satan and the work of a sin in the hearts and minds of mankind to unite against God under the rulership of the devil. It, it, it was almost approaching pre-flood settings. And God didn't want that. Let me tell you something about uh, the enemy of God, the, the dragon, also known as the devil, and Satan. He's also called the serpent. Let me tell you something about him. He, he doesn't want to just control a, a few people on the earth. He's not satisfied with a pretty good number of people. He wants everybody. He wants to, see, to deceive everybody. He wants every soul to be lost, mm -hmm. if possible. Mm -hmm. And the overwhelming great majority will be lost. We know that because the Bible tells us so. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much we try to switch it around and make it, as we would call it, sound positive. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Mm -hmm. It is not true. Eight people were saved when the world was destroyed the first time. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, only three people were saved. As it was in those days, so shall it be in the time of the coming of the Son of Man. And the Bible says, and a few shall be saved. A remnant shall be saved. Broad is the way. Why? It is the way that leads to destruction and death. But the way of righteousness, the Bible says, few there be that find it. It is a few now. You cannot believe that. But it's a lie anyway. It's not the truth because you choose to believe it and it sounds good to you. And a whole group of people sitting around you, all, they all agree, you know. But we don't have to worry about the few. We just need to be in that few. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And that few is a pretty good number when you start talking about all the people who will be saved from Adam's time all the way down to the very end of time. I just want to be in that number. And God has promised he'll see to it that I'm in that number if I trust him. But I want to read Revelation chapter 12 and verses 7 through 9. And what does the Bible say? And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. What was occurring at the Tower of Babel where the whole world, everybody, was deceived and was united against God. Will occur. God just slowed it down greatly. But it's still going to occur. The Bible says that that great dragon, mm -hmm. the old serpent called the devil and Satan, what, what, what does he do? He deceives the whole oh, world. Mm -hmm. If you don't have God Mercy. in you, God's spirit in you. If you are not born again, you will be deceived. Mm. Churches are filled with people who are deceived. They think their heaven would bound when they're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Mm. And God says that to his people. He's not talking and saying that to the world. He's saying it to those who say, I'm a Christian. Mm. I'm one of the remnant. He's telling them, you're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. You're deceived. Mm, 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 mm. The Bible says he deceives the whole world. God is mm. telling us something here. Yes. That's why he says be watchful. Yes. Be careful. Yes, yes. Be aware. Yes. Beware. For the devil, like a worn lion, seeketh who he may devour. He starts off with deception. He wants you to think you're all right when you're not. He wants you to, can, to think that you can just eat this or look at this or do this and it'll be with impunity because grace mm -hmm. and love and mercy will cover you. Mm -hmm. he, wants, he wants to deceive you. Yeah. 
It wants you to think that you can do absolutely nothing for the kingdom of God except for some occasional thing on some rare occasion mm -hmm. and still count yourself as saved. That's a lie. But he wants us to believe that and the majority believe all of that mm -hmm. stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Deceiveth the whole world. He has a different set of deceptions for people who claim to be Christians than he does for the world, you know. Mm -hmm. He wants the world to believe, eh, forget that God stuff is foolishness. Mm -hmm. He wants the church to believe I'm saved when we're actually lost. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God when I'm really serving the devil. I spend all my, I spend the majority of my time, talent, effort, and money on the world and the things of the world while I'm still calling myself a child of God. Mm -hmm. Deceived. <clears throat> Deceives yes, the yes. whole world. Yes, yes. We make up our own rules, our own righteousness. Mm -hmm. God help us. Yeah. I don't care how good you are. You're not saved based on that. You're not saved without good works. But your good works are evidence that Jesus lives in you. That the Holy Ghost is in control. It determines how great a reward you receive. Yeah, your good works are important. They are necessary. They, they are a reflection of the character of God. But you're not saved based on them because they're not flawless. Mm -hmm. You're saved based on the righteousness of Jesus. Yes, yes. And the devil wants to deceive us. He wants to make us to believe that the righteousness of Christ will cover up our deliberate, habitual mm -hmm. sin that we love and practice. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. <clears throat> The Bible says in the Romans, not Romans, Revelation chapter 16 and verses 13 through 16. What does it say? And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, okay. which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. For they see his shame, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place <coughs> called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. All right. The devil <coughs> can work miracles. Miracles are no sign that is God. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> the devil goes forth. Spirits of devil go forth working miracles. And through that, he gathers together. He deceives the whole world. Mm -hmm. And he gathers them together to battle against God Almighty. That's the battle of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. One day, I said one day, after God takes the righteous into heaven and they look over the record books for a thousand years mm -hmm. and determine who should get what and why everybody's lost and how it is that they were saved and they look over those records and they sit down in judgment with Christ and decide what the enemy should get mm -hmm. and Jesus returns and he resurrects all of the wicked mm -hmm. all of them all mm -hmm. of the wicked who have ever lived mm -hmm are resurrected, they're alive. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And through the miracles of the devil, mm -hmm. he gathers them together to fight against, fight God. against God. And they get to the point where they determine, because the, the Bible says that the new Jerusalem is going to come down and sit on the earth. Mm -hmm. God's going to lay out a plane and he's going to sit the new Jerusalem on the earth. And they're going to surround the city. I'm talking about what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. They're going to surround the city, all of the wicked of all times. And they're going to determine, the only thing we can do is destroy it the city. Mm -hmm. And they know at that point that it's filled with the righteous and with God. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get to the point where they're going to say, okay, let's attack. Mm -hmm. And everybody on the earth is going to be in harmony with that. Mm -hmm. At that point, everybody who's lost will prove that they have the spirit of devil, mm -hmm. the spirit of Satan, mm -hmm. the spirit to kill, even God. They have that spirit and they attempt to do it. And then God mm -hmm. Finishes the battle. Oh, rains yeah. down fire out of heaven. Uh -huh. That's the battle of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. All of sinful mankind and the devils and all of the demons. They, 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 they come together to attack God and he destroys them. That's the battle That's the of Armageddon. That's the battle. That day is coming. Mm -hmm. 
But before that day comes, we got a job to do. Mm -hmm. That's why we, so we hammer so much the fact that we've got to get up and be about the Father's business. Yes, yes, if you yes. don't, it's a sign that you don't have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It's a sign that you're not a part of the kingdom of God. You can rationalize it, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not well, I can't do all of this. And you would, you would act living like that when you were well. <laughs> Much less now that you're not well. At any rate, Matthew 24, 13 and 14, what does the Bible say? And he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel yes. of the kingdom yes. shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Nobody will be lost. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to say, I didn't hear, I didn't know. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Whatever truth God reveals to them, he holds them responsible for. And the very last sign of the time is when the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the kingdom of God, is preached in all of the world to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, to every person upon the face of the earth. When that's finished, then the end will come. And that's our job. Mm -hmm. We're to hasten the end by doing the will and the work mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed we be thy name, Lord. Yeah. Uh, during the time of the Tower of Babel, people were doing their own thing. They, they were united against God. Yeah. They were united not to trust in God, but to trust in their own way, their own provisions for themselves. Lord, uh, is that, that's going to mature right into the Battle of Armageddon, right, in, right up to the point where all human, all mankind for all times who were lost are going to seek to kill God and his people. And then God will put an end to it all. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord, help us to stand on the right side, but help yes. us to get on that right side now. Yes, Lord. Yes. Help us to be on the team that is mm -hmm. proclaiming the gospel to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. Yes. Yes. On the team that's preaching this gospel to the whole world, help us to be on that team. Because if we're not doing that, we're on the other team. Mm -mm. We're just looking at television and relaxing and just making money and mm -mm. making ends meet. Mm -mm. We're on the other team. Help us, Lord, not yes, to be there. Jesus. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yeah.